Year 1989, in a car racing track, Jack Toretto is competing in a race, with sons Dom and Jacob working as his crew. Dom lashes out at some other crew members from racer Kenny Linder antagonizing his dad. But Jack tells Dom not to pay them mind. Then, Jack gets back out on the track. But Linder clips Jack's car, causing it to fly and blow up midair. Leaving Dom devastated. Present day. As Dom shows little Brian how to work a tractor, Dom and Letty living quietly in the countryside with little Brian. Then, they spot a car approaching their home. Immediately, Dom and Letty arm themselves until they see it's just Roman, Tej and Ramsey. They inform them that Mr. Nobody was seeking out a top secret device and hunting Cypher when his plane was shot down and crashed on an island and he has gone missing. The trio asks for Dom and Letty's help, but they are hesitant now that they are raising a family. Things change. Later that night, after putting little Brian to bed, Dom and Letty discuss the mission and how Brian and Mia made it out of this business once they became parents. But Letty notes that they are not Brian and Mia. Letty then leaves with a motorcycle. And Dom reviews the video of Mr. Nobody, spotting a familiar cross symbol that he recognizes from a postcard he received of Mexico from a while back. In the morning, when the team is about to board the plane, Dom rushes to join his teammates. The team travels to the island of Monte Quinto to find the wreckage of the plane. They uncover half of the device just before a team of gunmen fire upon the team. A lot of gunmen chased Roman to a dead end. You don't know who I am? You think I'm scared? And miraculously, Roman survived. The heroes drive away and come across a minefield, killing some of the gunmen. While Roman, miraculously, Again, just barely escapes getting crushed or blown up. How in the hell are you not dead? <laughs> Dom and Letty are then startled when they see Jacob grab the device and make off with it. Roman, Tedge and Ramsey yells as they manage to drive over a downed bridge in time before they fall to their doom. The two give chase and catch him near the edge of a cliff until a large magnetized drone flies in and picks Jacob up. Dom and Letty then drive over the cliff and manage to latch onto rope from the bridge and somewhat safely land on another cliffside. As the heroes go home, Letty informs the rest of the team that Jacob is Dom's brother. Jacob. I'm sorry, I'm just processing. Brother? A flashback shows the aftermath of Jack's death. Linder came by making snide comments regarding Jack and then attacked Dom. Dom retaliated by nearly beating Linder to death with a wrench, getting himself sent to prison. Jacob meets with his partner, Otto, at their base. They are keeping Cypher in a glass cage. She knows about Jacob and his drive to be better than Dom. But when she offers him a chance to join her and get back at him, Jacob declines and is confident in working on his own. He presents half of the device to Cypher. And she reveals to him and Otto that the other half they seek is in Edinburgh. You don't have a chance. Plans are in motion. 
The team goes to their hideout, where Dom feels that he must carry the weight of the mission due to Jacob. Meanwhile, Roman muses to Tej and Ramsey that they must be invincible due to coming out of numerous insane scenarios practically unscathed. But they think he's full of shit. Later, Mia joins everyone because she still cares for Jacob. Ramsey then explains to everyone that the device is called Project Ares which can be used to hack into any system and would allow someone like Jacob to control things like the world's cache of nuclear weapons. It is also discovered that there were prints belonging to one person among Mr. Nobody's research, Han, their old teammate. Dom then notes that the postcard he got of Mexico was sent the day Han died, and it has a stamp on it from Tokyo, where Han said he would go with Giselle, the love interest of Han in the previous movies. In a flashback, while Dom is working as a mechanic in the prison, he met Leo and Santos, who referred to the incident that killed Jack and how Jacob was the last person working on the car before he died. After Dom was released, he went down to the meetup spot with Mia, Letty and Vince, and the rest of their crew, before challenging Jacob to a race after confronting him over what happened to their father. Dom told Jacob that if he lost, he would have to keep driving and never return. During the race, both Toretto's utilized NOS to boost their cars, but Jacob went too early, allowing Dom to win and forcing Jacob to flee in exile. Dom goes to find Buddy, an old family friend that worked with Jack. Dom knows Buddy took Jacob in after he went into exile, and Mia also briefly kept in touch with him until he just vanished. Buddy informs Dom that Jacob is going to be in London, but he tells Dom he hopes he finds peace. I hope you find your peace. Mia and Letty go to Tokyo to track Han down. After seemingly finding no leads, they spot an apartment with a Mexican flag, alluding to Han always talking about how Tokyo is his Mexico in terms of a place where bandits retreat. Roman and Tej find Sean Boswell, plus Eddie Hu and Twinkie, and they ask them for assistance on behalf of Dom. They are seen working on a Pontiac Fira with a rocket strapped to it. After testing it out, the trio is proud that it made it far enough without blowing up, and then, the car explodes. Dom makes it to London and runs into Queenie Shaw, just after she robs a jewelry store. They make their getaway from the authorities while Dom asks Queenie if she has heard anything about Jacob. She tells him that she has heard of him and his crew turning up in Edinburgh. Yeah, yeah, what well, did go wrong on a crew that just turned up? Led by an American. Queenie drops Dom off at a mansion where Otto is hosting a party. Dom manages to gain entrance to confront Jacob. but he orders his older brother to leave as he made him do so all those years earlier. I showed you mercy. Dom is forced to leave when an armed team apparently working for Otto shows up. And this place? An embassy, which means you just trespassed into my country. Dom is taken into custody, but it is revealed that the team is led by an old friend named Lisa, who helps Dom get out. Inside the apartment with the Mexican flag in Tokyo, Mia and Letty find a young woman named Elle, who knows them too and warns them when armed thugs attack. Mia and Letty then proceed to fight off the goons. and the fight goes out the apartment. The remaining gunmen are killed by a sniper rifle, and the sniper is their old teammate Han. 
Roman, Tej, and Ramsey arrive in London just as Jacob and Otto begin to enact their heist. Ramsey notices that the security cameras are going haywire, meaning something from Jacob's team is blocking them out. Roman and Tej find some large truck drivers and fight them on Roman's suspicion. It turns out they are driving a truck with an electromagnetic field. You know silver ain't magnetic, right? You know what? Just shut up. And it has allowed Jacob to find the second piece of Ares. He starts making his escape via zipline, but Dom spots him and chases after him. Roman and Tej fight more goons inside the truck while Ramsey clumsily commandeers it through the streets of London, crashing into many cars along the way. Dom catches Jacob and fights him. But the younger Toretto makes his escape by stealing a car. After Dom joins the other three. They use the truck to pull Jacob's car toward them. You're a natural. <laughs> of course I am. After this setback, Otto and his men return to their base. Cypher taunts him and says that this is the part where the villain suffers a setback. And she is prepared to offer a solution. No offense. The team brings Jacob into their custody. Right. Mia and Letty return with Han and Elle to the hideout. Nice clubhouse. With all the guys elated to see Han again. So I got my postcard now. He explains the circumstances surrounding his death. After Giselle died. The car exploded and you're still alive. Like I'm trying to. Roman, can you, can you just be quiet for one minute? He went to Tokyo. Where he had been recruited by Mr. Nobody since he had previously worked with Giselle and thought he could also trust Han. Elle's parents worked on Project Ares and were killed for it when she was a child. Han came to protect her since her blood is the key component in activating Ares. After Deckard Shaw came into the picture, they saw it as an opportunity to fake his death. Now for the hard part. Keeping you dead. Otto and his goons soon attack the hideout. Here, it is revealed that Jacob was an agent of Mr. Nobody's that went rogue. And he also reveals to Dom that their father had intended to throw the race that day to be compensated for the family's debts. Dad died because he was trying to throw that race. We were in deep debt. And he personally asked Jacob to mess with the car. But they kept it from Dom to protect his view of Jack, and Jacob never anticipated what would happen. I will stop you. And that's my promise. The heroes fight Otto's men. As most of the team gets out, Dom stays behind and pulls on some chains to bring down a platform with himself and the other goons. Hitting the water below, Dom appears to have a vision, showing Jack teaching him and Jacob as children about fixing cars. He sees little Brian asking him when he is coming home. He then sees a memory in which he saw Jack having a tense phone call. Lending credence to what Jacob said about their troubles. Jacob. Now. Just when it looks like Dom is ready to give in, Letty jumps into the water and rescues him. Otto launches a satellite into orbit that will help with control of Ares. They also force L to activate it. Otto and Jacob drive their armored truck through t while the heroes make their way toward that area. Tej and Roman use a rocket car on top of a drone and they are launched into orbit as well to try and destroy the satellite. Man, 
how much candy did you eat? I, I, I eat candy when I get nervous. The gang uses the villain's electromagnets to take out incoming bands as they get closer to Jacob and Otta. Mia and Han make it to the truck with Elle inside and kill the goons guarding her. Otto reveals he is betraying Jacob and is now working with Cypher. You were never my competition. Dom sees Jacob is in danger and quickly maneuvers to help him. Mia helps Jacob get to safety. Elle used the machine gun to try to slow down the truck. Dom tries to use the magnet to pull some cars to slow down the truck. But still it keeps on going. Dom then comes up with a plan to get the cars to magnetize to the front of the truck. And Jacob comes back to help. They send it flipping upwards until they get it out of the city. Ares is nearly done uploading, but Tedge and Roman's car craps out on them. Leaving them no choice but to ram into the satellite in order to destroy it and sever the link. On the outskirts of the city, Dom is still inside the truck with Ada, while Cypher sends a drone after Dom. Just as she fires a blast at the truck, Dom manages to jump out while Otto blows up inside the truck, and the impact causes the truck to smash into Cypher's drone. Frustrated at another defeat, she makes her getaway once more. Dom then buries the hatchet with Jacob. And he parts ways with Dom and Mia once more. Meanwhile, some astronauts from a space station come across Tedge and Roman. After returning home, Dom takes little Brian to the racetrack where Jack used to race. One last flashback shows teenage Dom and Jacob consoling each other after Jack's death, meaning there was always love between them. The team has another barbecue gathering. Han arrived bringing Elle, and he reunites with Sean, Twinkie, and Earl. This time with Santos joining them. While he says Leo opened up a restaurant in Brooklyn but the food is bad. Just as everyone is getting ready to say grace. They wait for just one more guest, then arrived roaring in a blue exotic car as Brian. During the credits, Deckard Shaw is seen punching a bag. which has an unknown man inside that Deckard is beating for information. There is then a knock at his door, and he is startled who's is in front of his door. Thank you for viewing our featured video in movie summary. I hope you enjoyed watching our videos. Please like and share our videos to your families and friends. And subscribe to our channel to help us grow. Click the notification bell so that you will be notified when we upload our next videos.